guys, it's Jo and welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, we are going to be doing the first part of our three-part pantry series. The first part is going to be where we get our fresh produce. Second part is going to be where we get our pantry staples. And the third part will be the culmination, a pantry slash refrigerator tour in our house. So if you guys are excited for the rest of this series, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next part comes up. But this episode is gonna be all about the fresh produce, the fruits, the vegetables, our tofu. Where do we get it? How often do we shop? And how close are we with our suki slash vendors? <laughs> Let's get into the video. Okay, so even pre-pandemic, I was chosen as one of the tributes to go out and buy the produce and all of the goods. Mula pa nung bata ako, ako na yung sinasabihan bumili ng gatas. It's usually me and my older sister Mirabai, as well as my dad, who usually buys our vegetables. This was all pre-pandemic and we usually had this whole routine where every Sunday we would wake up at 4.20 a.m. to go to the seed core Sunday market. But then the pandemic hit because you have a routine and it's now broken and you don't know what to do. It was crazy. Hindi namin alam kung saan na kami bibili ng gulay. Even our tofu guy from the market. During the first weeks of the pandemic, we would just go around in the car finding those street vendors to buy vegetables from. During the whole start of the quarantine, we would buy in major bulk. Kind of scary because this does up the opportunity for a lot of rotting fruits and vegetables in your home. Ideally, you buy every week or maybe once or twice a week, but we had the stock up for two to three weeks so we didn't constantly have to go outside of the house and so i went with elijah to buy vegetables since my dad is a senior and bai is slightly immunocompromised thank goodness a few months in we found the suki in kesi memorial circle here's the thing about sukis you love them because you trust them they give you good prices and it's fun to shop oh shoot here we go Hello guys! We are gonna go buy vegetables at our new suki sa Kesi Memorial Circle. Old, Old but like kind it's of been a new. few months. Yeah, because of course the pandemic happened so our usual Sunday seed core market is no longer applicable. So we're gonna head to Kesi Memorial Circle and we're gonna show you guys and introduce you guys to the people who we buy our vegetables from now. They're really nice and they also they give us a lot of free vegetables, <laughs> which is really awesome. So, putting on our masks, having our alcohol, let's get some veggies. All right, there we go. Here it is. This is where we shop. Yeah, there we are. Good morning, Mom. Hello. Good morning, Pop. <laughs> so this is where we buy vegetables. We always bring our own bags. This is how they know us, because of the pink. Yeah. We put our bags there so we can get everything around. They always tell us to just put it down, so I just put it down. We're very at home here. At our wonderful sukis at Kesa Memorial Circle, they got a bunch of vegetables of great quality. They have potatoes, corn, also a bunch of green leafy vegetables. You know they've got their broccoli, cabbage, the Napa cabbage. They also have lettuce, romaine lettuce, which is key because that is the best. They even have bok choy and they're very, very friendly. Of course, your basics, onion and garlic. They even have lemons. They have sugar beet, French beans. They have a bunch of tomatoes and the red tomatoes because you don't want the green ones. <laughs> Carrots, cucumbers. They also have shirataki mushrooms and the other long type of mushrooms. So the thing that we do is we just pack it up into our little reusable bags. You give it to them, they weigh it, and then they put it in our even bigger bags so that we can bring it home. It's pretty much a system that we ended up having and just a fun time when we shop for veggies. And right beside them is Ate Beth, who also sells more local Filipino vegetables like your eggplants, your sitaw, ampalaya, and the other ones that you can find in the Bahay Kubo. Veggies were slightly very expensive during the first part of quarantine, but we're very lucky that they were very generous in pricing for ours. And because we're so close to them, they let me interview them, so here's a snippet. 
Hi, I'm I'm Eman. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. Hello. Ako po si ano, ano si Bokbok Chokoy po. Ako po si Capital B Chakaway. <laughs> Araw ng linggo ngayon, maraming tao, maraming customer. So, maaga kaming umalis sa bahay para makapag-prepare dito ng mga gulay na sariwa. Starting nung March? 200 lang po ang dito. Dito po. Before nasa, ano kami ba? Uh, bazaar. As entries. But nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, natigil yung mga bazaar. So, napunta kami dito. So, ano po yung favorite yung gulay? Sa akin, uh, spinach. Sa Oli. <laughs> sa Yoti Tap. <laughs> Question po, sino po yung favorite customer niyo? Favorite customer, number one. Si Ma'am Jo, si Basca. Yeah! Paano siya yun? Paano daw siya? Siya na rin. Ay, yeah. yung lalagyanan. Sila lang may ganyan. No more plastic. Yes! Uh, ako si Beth. Uh, ayun, pagkakit sa umaga, uh, maliligo, and then ako ka rito para magtinda ng mga kariwang gulay. Araw-araw halot, ganun yung ginagawa namin. Ano po favorite niyong gulay? Para sa akin, yung bulaklak ng kalabasa, pandininding. Ay, sa! <laughs> Mostly, maraming customer Saturday, Sunday, talagang sobrang busy. Mula umaga hanggang hapon. Ang binubuhat ko, mga bed, ikinip na ang kalayap. Boom! Diba? Uh, Work <laughs> out! Yun ang maganda. Yun ang maganda. Para sa Mexi. Yes. Yan. Yeah. 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 Ano na kami? Ano na? Ano na kami? Uwi na. Guys, sikat na si Joe. Everyone in that little market. I'm just saying Joe Sebastian. Because they asked, because I was filming it and then they said, um, what was if I was a vlogger? And I was like, inside. <laughs> so they asked me what the channel was and what my name was. And now they're just passing it on. Joe Sebastian, Joe Sebastian. It's fun. It's really fun. Sikat na. <laughs> sikat na si Ate. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> and we're home. And pawis na yung kili kili ko. <laughs> so, yep, that was our usual fresh produce vegetable shopping with our usuals. Which yeah, we like, we like to go to Sukes because it just feels more comfortable, you know? If you know who you're buying from, maybe you don't know where it came from, but you know who you're <laughs> buying it from. Feels like it's nice. Yeah, which is important when you are dealing with food because, like, you want to have that food safety. So, at least knowing the people you're buying from, at least understanding and knowing that it's safe in that sense. All right, we're gonna put everything away. <laughs> That's the hard part. This is the long. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. Uh, workout for Sundays is carrying these heavy bags into the house. Let's go. This is why we train. We make sure that we can carry all of them at one go. Right? Ready? <laughs> okay. Ready. Here we go. This is, this is how we get by to take it all and not have to do anything. Let's go, bye! Let's go! So our favorite vendors in Quezon Memorial Circle is the first one before Visayas Avenue comes in. So they're always talking to us. They're always saying, hi, ma'am. They know us because of our produce bags. Dubai had produce bags made so that you don't have to constantly use and get plastics when you're buying fruits and vegetables. It also makes buying veggies a lot easier because you already get to put what you need into your bag. I've linked below a few produce bag places that you can buy on Shopee or on Instagram in case you're interested in getting yourself some. But recently, mostly just the start of this year actually, Seed Course Sunday Market has opened up again! Yes! But thank goodness Seed Course Sunday Market is back and now we can shop weekly for produce and we don't have to buy for two to three weeks. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. And we are now getting into our usual Sunday market which we went through a lot in the, before the pandemic happened and it's back so we're off it's been so long since we went <laughs> forgotten what to bring morning crew mom dad and yes. our reusable yeah. bags we're here let's get this done 
The seed course on the market is pretty much divided into four parts. The first part being your meats and your eggs and your fish. The next part being your fresh produce of vegetables and fruits. The next part is the cooked food items. And then the last part is the clothing and furniture and other parts. Now, a lot of the usual vendors are no longer there. Like our tofu guy is not there anymore. It's pretty sad. Going in, you check your temperature, you sign the logbook, and when you go in, you can now buy all the things you need. Seed Course Sunday Market! <laughs> so in the Seed Course Sunday Market, usually we're there really early, so a lot of the places are still kind of setting up. Our personal suke or vendor is already set up, and she's just in the farthest corner there in the side, but they got all of the veggies that we could possibly need and think of at very affordable prices which we love. We usually spend about maybe one five to one nine for five people and sometimes a little bit more and sometimes there's a little bit of leftover because we don't always use everything. <laughs> and for the fruits, we get from the vendors that have the best looking ones at a reasonable price. No. Oh. <laughs> get up, <Smith. gasps> The hard part is when you buy a lot of stuff and you have to go back and forth from your car and all of those things, you have to keep checking your temperature. They also put the exit and the entrance really far from each other, so you have to constantly go around. But now, thank goodness, the best part about the fact is that we can actually go to the Seed Core Sunday Market at 5.20 rather than 4.20 like before. Because there is a lot less people, but by the time it comes to later morning, all the produce that you want is pretty much gone. So that's mostly for our vegetables. Other places we buy fruits from is on Viber. My sister messages her, uh, her dealer of fruits. So we get our apples and our oranges in really, really big amounts since they tend to last longest in the ref. But for bananas, you gotta buy that weekly. And when your bananas get overripe, quick tip, peel it, put it in the freezer, great for a creamy smoothie. So that's for the fruits and vegetables. Tofu was a hard one, especially since that is one of our main sources of protein and you have to get a restock of that otherwise it will get bad in the refrigerator. I started quarantine it was a bit rough and we even went to Banawe to buy tofu but the line was so freaking long and the price was the same if you just ordered from soya meat which I will link in the description below. So they deliver it, it could be next day delivery and they even have a website up now which makes it a lot easier but since it's also important to support your local vendors we also order from our local taho vendor who is actually Elijah's taho suke who is now our to tofu suke because we buy tofu from them every one or two weeks and all you have to do is message him I hope I can leave his number in the description if you guys want tofu, but you just pick it up around the UP area and it's pretty easy. Tofu is great. We're gonna get some tofu. Yes, we're gonna get some tofu from Elijah's best friend. <laughs> Yabon is the best. He's my, um, I'm the suke, right? I'm the yeah. suke. Of... No, he's your suke. Oh yeah, he's my suke for the past seven years oh. for taho and tofu. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some tofu. You have to we message them like a week ago, or you can watch it like a day before, and then prepare your tofu. What are you filming me? Ready? Let's get some tofu. Oh no, I don't see them. Huh? I don't see them. Are they there? <laughs> We're gonna get some tofu. Hi, Hi Kuya Bon. Okay lang mag-film, Kuya Bon. Huh? Okay lang mag-film. <laughs> Basta ikaw. Thank you. Ang po si Kuya Bon. <laughs> Kuya Bon. Morning po. Siya ang pinakamagaling na magtataho sa buong mundo na ito. <laughs> wow, Kuya Bon. Kuya Bon. Anna. Hi po. Good morning po. Minsan, nagtitinda kami pag may nag-order. Minsan, pag walang order, wala kami tinda. Pero dito kayo araw-araw? Hindi po. Tuwing Sabado lang po. Tuwing Sabado lang. Okay. Pag weekdays, sa may CHK po, okay. sa may UP po. Okay. okay. Thanks po. Thank you, Kuya Bon. Okay. Sundo sa Grab. Sundo sa Grab. Saya, Idol. Marami lang ka. Paano naman si Ma'am? Ba't si Idol Ayun? lang? Mayroon, mayroon din si Ma'am. Hindi <laughs> po ako Idol. <laughs> Thank you, 
Ya, Bon. Itu yang British kok saya ingin. Selamat po. Bye, Bo. Ya, ingat po. Thank you, Bo. Next time di bawah ulang. Thank you, Bo. Yay. I got feet to hold. Yes, as a star. Cheers. I can't see it. There we go. Close enough. So if ever I forget that I have to text and order some tofu, I get from Soy Yummy. So it comes the next day. But we bounce from those two tofu providers. That is the end of part one of the pantry series. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was informative, gave you a few ideas. I'll probably see you in the Sunday market. Or maybe I'll see you at Casa Memorial Circle buying vegetables. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget, you always deserve to eat.